Hello everybody and welcome to our second video exploring the colour palette of KN Red. So today we're going to do a funeral tribute. I'm going to actually create what I would call a traditional double-ended spray. So symmetrical either end. Okay, so using that KN colour palette would be suitable for someone that perhaps had a zest for life. So perhaps a friend, a dear friend that you've lost sadly. Um, that had a fun, outgoing personality. Red is a really powerful, strong colour. So it kind of gives impact. So is this a suitable colour for the person that you've sadly lost? We're going to use a selection of flowers, again in that colour palette of KN Red, which is that red going into an orange kind of feel. If you think of that hot KN tone, we're using eucalyptus cinerea as our foliage and some soft ruscus. I think that acts as a really nice foil, the pale, the sort of greyer tones, helping to emphasise the red. And then our flower varieties are lily, LA. Now, LA means a uh, longiflorum and asiatic cross. This particular variety is actually called love red. Now, they haven't opened fully, I have to be honest, um, but they do open into a lovely star-shaped lily. I've got one that's a little bit more developed here that will give you an indication of how they look. Now, one of the reasons for perhaps doing an arrangement with the flowers slightly less um, developed is that you can make it up in advance and then it will develop a little bit over a couple of days. All right. Now I've also got some chrysanthemum. This particular variety is a spray chrysanthemum and it's called Barolo. And then last, but by no means least, I have these beautiful mini gerberas. Now this is a spider mini gerbera, so really quite fun and funky. So again, going back to that person that has that sort of fun, outgoing zest for life. They're quite a fun looking flower. I'm just going to wire one of those up. So apart from my usual floristry kit, um, which is scissors, um, anchor tape, I've also got a 70 by 300 millimeter stub wire that I'm using. So I'm just going to wire up the little mini gerbera. So insert the wire just underneath the head and then I'll turn it that way around so you can see better and then just spin the wire all the way around the stem. Now that's not detrimental to the longevity of the flower. Um, it doesn't affect the cell structure, so you'll still get the same shelf life that you would had you not wired it. But the benefits are, you then have the head that's supported, so you can actually bend it into the position that you want it. Okay, so in addition to my flowers and foliage, I'm also going to use what we call a double brick spray tray. That's this black spray tray here. Um, and then into that, I've used a 12 millimeter pot tape or anchor tape, which I've secured a single brick of wet foam, which has been soaked. Okay, I think I've covered everything. So I hope you'll enjoy watching this demo and I hope it will inspire you to have a go at making a tribute perhaps when the time comes, if you lose a dear friend. All right. Enjoy. Bye. 
So I hope this has inspired you to have a go at creating a double-ended spray yourselves for that loved one that sadly has passed away. Um, as I mentioned earlier in um, the video, the lilies are not fully developed. So I've actually got three top tips, as I always do have for you. So my first top tip actually concerns the lilies. So as I mentioned, you can see they're still quite tight. That's great if you're going to make this arrangement well in advance and keep it, because then they will actually develop. But ideally, for a tribute, you really want the lilies fully developed. So bear in mind they're going to take potentially a week um, to fully open and develop. That's providing they're put in a warmer domestic environment. So you need to factor that in to your ordering when you're ordering online. All right, so top tip number one. Top tip number two, as these are quite tight, you could literally make this up four or even five days before it's needed and keep it really well watered in a cooler environment. Otherwise, you could always green it up a couple of days before and then just pop the flowers in the day before. And then my third top tip. So you've got to a certain extent principles of design within this arrangement that are quite linear. So you've got your lilies that are going through as your focal points. So they're your dominant, possibly the most expensive flower. And then you've got your complementary flowers, which are actually your gerberas. And then you've got your filler flowers, which are your chrysanthemums. All right, so that's, that's my third top tip. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Next up, we're exploring how you can incorporate this beautiful cayenne red color scheme into your home. So we're going to create a home decor design. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share it with your friends, your family and your flower clubs. Um, we look forward to welcoming you back again very soon. Oh, don't forget, check out our YouTube channel for lots more tips and inspirational ideas. Thank you. Bye for now.